generally, you guys, as I say, I don't like to look at these too much before, but I, of course, have to glance at them. So let's open it up in the old DMs. I'm very curious to know what I was tagged in or what is happening there, as you can see, the 20 plus. But uh, <laughs> Ghost Phantom starting it off. As he says, this question was inspired by Drake's interview with Emmy Fugino from Broad Horizon, episode nine, James Plug, go check it out, where she talks about the use of elbows in women's MMA. So that's just a clip for reference. I won't play that again, but he says, to a certain degree, she's correct. Elbows are difficult to execute because it's a short range weapon that require precise timing and the ability to stay composed in close range. Then he gives us a 45 second clip here. Uh, for background, Zhang had to learn elbows during her training camp against Fujino. Not trying to play the audio there, sorry. Because she spar sprained her toe during jiu-jitsu and couldn't generate power in her kicks or punches. Um, as her coach says in the video, force your opponent to your, cent to your center line to use elbows. The way elbows are used in MMA is either reactive or proactive. Here are some examples of Zhang's reactive elbows. And here we are from that fight. And particularly, as you can see, she pretty much uses that brilliantly to counter the jab. It says counters jab with a horizontal elbow. You love to see it. And it says she uses her high guard defense as a delivery system to land her lead elbow off of Fujino's rear cross. Sneaky shit right there, man. <laughs> so, similar to uh, Maverick right there with the Jojua victory. Similar, maybe not the exact same, but similar. Um, then he has versus Andrade. She uses her high guard to defend her opponent's hook and left arm to frame to maintain space for her elbow oh, left so hook elbow combo. His elbows are so nice. Yeah, that was slicing. Yeah. Just brilliant. When you're in tight like that, it's like, why not? It's the best weapon. And he says, using elbows reactively from range is a skill that is difficult to train in sparring due to the danger it possesses both you and your sparring partner. Using elbows proactively, on the other hand, is less risky because it re but requires more trickery. And here we are with some violent ground and pound. Yeah. Elbows can be used from mountain to force the opponent to shell up from bottom, which means they aren't focused on escape. Jane creates a strong base with her knees and left arm while she drops her elbows. Yeah, beautiful stuff there. And her opponent initiates the clinch, which Zhang follows up with a hard knee, creates a single collar tie and narrow base to force her opponent to think knee, but then follows with an elbow. Yep, very nice work right there, unsurprisingly. Bam. All right, then we continue on to the Andrade fight. Zhang creates a frame on Andrade's neck to land elbows while against the fence. As they break from the fence, she maintains a double collar tie or toe tie, yeah, to break Andrade's posture, then use her knees to set up more elbows. Absolutely. Um, the Daniel Taylor fight right here. Taylor decides to clinch up with Zhang. She accepts the clinch, throws a knee, begins to establish an outside trip. Taylor responds by basing her feet wide which Zhang uses as an opportunity to get an overhook to land an elbow. Yes. And now we're going to, we're going through the whole history of Whaley's fights, guys, as you can see. <laughs> going over the top of a double color tie with an elbow is a good option to reestablish your base during clinch. Yeah, doesn't hurt. Gambling a bit there with it, knee up the middle, but she took the timing there wonderfully. And then we get to the ground. Aguilar does the correct thing by creating a frame with her left leg and right arm, but Zhang uses it as an opportunity to land her elbow on the forehead. This this whole question, by the way, uh, Ghost, is really great job of highlighting how much Whaley uses these. Because like we know she does, but you don't realize until you really highlight this it. This has so. become like a segment <laughs> for, for us. I, I know. It completely is. So uh, Love it. Says, this is an example of how elbows can be used to transition from one submission attempt to the next. Aguilar was doing the correct thing by clasping her hands together to stop the triangle, but the elbows that Zhang begins to land force Aguilar to kill Play that one again. Yep. Bang, bang, awesome. bang. Awesome. Looking crazy, dude. Like she's throwing them while she has her legs wrapped around her neck. Yeah, that, that performance was stunning. It's amazing, dude. Just amazing. Just making her think. Way more than she would prefer to. 
and that's a veteran like Jag too. So yeah. elbows do have a downside if you actively look for them. They leave you open for knees. Yoana would shut down Jang's knees with a knee shield and hip position, but Jang was still able to establish an overhook to throw her elbow to left hook combo. And that's Taking against a Thai champion. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so a little more understandable in that case, but good highlight there. And so to the question, <laughs> Ghost Final. asks, how important are elbows in the development of women fighters? Should more women in MMA train elbows? And due to the danger in training, degree of difficulty at high risk, do you guys think it's a waste of time for women to even train elbows? I don't think it's a waste of time for anybody, any fighter to train elbows. Shit does damage, and you're in there to, to win a fight. So you might as well do as much damage any way, as any way that you can. So no, fucking throw those elbows, anybody. <laughs> I mean, I think, Ghost, that you pretty much answered your own question, <laughs> honestly, with this. Because when you look at Whaley specifically and her effectiveness throughout her whole career, as you just showed everybody... Um, she has had <laughs> fantastic success. We're all uh, <laughs> we're all hitting the pad right now. We're gonna go train elbows. I know. Uh, I love me some elbows. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Dude, so, it's, it's just um, an underrated. It's an underrated strike. It's, it's <laughs> not used enough. Yeah. Um, but yeah, man. I, I think that you pretty much you summed it up yourself, Ghost. I appreciate. The lesson, as always, man. But it's like I when, you, when you, I love it. <laughs> yeah, it's I the ghost. It's the ghost segment. The segment of the ghost. I know. We're just gonna have to change, separate his from Twitter mailbag to uh, his own thing. Yeah, but for um, sure. for sure. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah. When you look at somebody like Whaley, who has been that effective and successful in her career while using them, uh, I think it's a resounding yes. You know, if more people integrated elbows the way that she does. Uh, you know, people would probably be doing a lot better too. But also, you got to think. I think it's also unique to Whaley, where she has that ferocity and that overall level of training. She does commitment, all that kind of thing. Like, not everyone has that same type of killer instinct. So, um, it's a little bit of a half and half, I think. But yeah, fuck yeah, the more weapons you have, absolutely get in there. So elbows, of course. Never gonna hear me say no to elbows. Do it, <laughs> but, fighter. Do it. But uh, Alvin giving some love there. Amazing breakdown to Mr. Ghost Phantom. Yeah, That's two weeks in a row where Ghost Phantom has really put time, like a lot of thought. He's showing off this guy. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I, I love it, though. Yeah, you, could, you could start your own channel, channel, Ghost. I mean, appreciate you coming here, but you ever, you maybe think about it, man. <laughs> so, good stuff. But, uh, yeah, you can literally make a YouTube a YouTube video out of that. Oh yeah, people love that stuff. So yeah, they do. I mean we love it. So Sammy yeah. says if more people trained elbows, they'd get more stoppages. Um Yep. Yeah. I say it every time. I say it literally every every time that I see elbows. I'm like, yes, dude, you're gonna win. Yeah, I mean uh, I hate to bring it up, but look at look at Carla and Shown on <laughs> right. hurts, hurts, but true, yeah, uh, crazy man, crazy. So.